Hey guys, Manas here and welcome back to my channel. So in my last video about the Proko ROM, I forgot to mention the person who informed and sent me the download link of that ROM. His name is Saurabh and you can see his Insta ID somewhere on the screen. So I want to say thank you man, keep doing good stuff like that. So now let's begin with AOSP extended custom ROM for Lyco LE2. First let me tell you about the ROM. The ROM is AOSP Extended version 5.4 official and it is based on Android 8.1.0 Oreo. The security patch level is 5 April 2018. You will get newer patches with latest releases I guess. So here I'm gonna skip the good parts means what's working in this ROM. So UI is smooth, every sensors including fingerprint works fine. Geo 4G faulty works as you can see over here. Hence, I'm not gonna talk about these things. Now, we have left with the bad things. Well, with bad I mean to say, the cons. That means the features which works, but they are problematic. So let me start one by one. First of all, the thing which irritates me the most is this navigation bar. Even after I have selected on-screen nav bar, the capacity buttons are still on which is not looking good. Secondly, I wanted to talk about the battery life. At first, after installing this ROM, it will give you good battery life. As you can see, at 55%, it is giving me around 8 hours of battery life. But gradually, you will see its true color after you start installing some apps and games. And while playing games, it will heat up which consumes more battery life. Now, I want to talk about the camera. The camera works from the first boot with little to no crash. I don't know why but sometimes while switching camera modes, the app crashed. The picture quality is terrible though in low lighting conditions with very high amount of noise. There is also a pro mode for manual control so that you can tweak your camera settings. It also can capture videos at 1080p but has some quality issue in low light. I can't say about daylight photography in this room because I filmed this video at night in my room. The video camera supports 4K, but if you switch to that, camera app will start crashing. I also tested the Google camera app. The details about that Google camera app is on your screen. You can pause and read. At first the app refused to open few times and sometimes it took forever to launch. But I got success after a few attempts. I wanted to try the lens blur option and it worked too. But the blurriness is too much and it looks so unnatural around the subject. The Google camera app also supports 360 degree photos, which is cool. There is little customization options also as extensions inside the settings menu where you can change the default option of status bar, notification panel, nav bar, etc. The second one is launcher customizations. You have to long press on home screen and then go to the settings on bottom right. Then you will get the launcher customizing menu where you can change the look and feel of your home screen. Alternatively, you can always use third party launchers from Play Store. If you don't enjoy a lot of multimedia on your phone, then you can install this ROM because the battery backup is hardly one day. The camera is not stable till now for LE2 custom ROMs. It can give you problems sometimes. But every other features which we call basics works flawlessly. So guys thank you all for watching this video. If you enjoy it hit that like button, comment your thoughts and suggestions and subscribe to this channel if you liked my work. Till then bye bye take care and I will see you on my next one.